to God be the glory. Praise God for all the wonderful things that he has done and is to come. And we give God all the praise and all the honor and all the glory on tonight. Amen. Blessing, blessing, blessing. We pray that all is well with everybody. And we thank God for his grace and his mercy. And we're broadcasting live. Um, we thank God. Kingdom Empowerment Ministry. Uh, we thank God for all of you all joining us on tonight. And just want to give a few people a chance to log on. And knowing that God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Amen. So we trust and believe uh, that you have had a blessed day in the Lord. And that you are still having a prosperous day in the Lord. And we give God all the praise and all the honor and all the glory belongs to God. Because without him, we are nothing. Amen. So we bless God for a um, another beautiful day. Amen. Grace, good evening. Um, and we thank God for that. Amen. Uh, let me just do this. All is well. and. As we go forth in the word of God. And I know um, the times and season that we're living in. We're going through a lot. But you know I just want to encourage everyone on tonight. That you know we're going through. But we're definitely definitely coming out of this. And we're going to continue to trust God through it all. Amen. So we, we bless the Lord for everything. And we thank God for his grace. And we thank God for his mercy. And all uh, that he has done. And is going to do for the men and women of God. Amen. So we thank God for that. And we thank God for his word of God on tonight. Um, even in the midst of. As we look at this. Uh, we're in December. December. And this is the last calendar month. Of the year. The last calendar month of the year. So we're going to bless the Lord. And not only that we're going to bless the Lord. But. Um. Uh, you know, we, we don't have to wait until December 25th to do what God has called us to do. Amen. And um, we're going to continue to be a blessing to people as it is now. Amen. So we just thank God for that. And we thank God for his grace. And we thank God for his mercy. Hallelujah is the highest praise. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord for that. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Just want to... um. Thanking God once again for his son, Jesus. Amen. And we thank God for everything and all that he has done. And, and even in the midst of what we have experienced and what we are going through, um, we're going to continue to trust God. Amen. So even in the midst of that, we're going to continue to um, bless the Lord and you know, with, even with this COVID-19 and what's going on with COVID-19 and, and all this stuff was happening in the world today. and But we're still going to continue to trust God. Amen. Because how many of you know God is bigger than COVID-19? Amen. God is bigger than COVID-19 and God is truly bigger than any pandemic that you have ever experienced. Any pandemic that you will experience in the future. This is where you got to believe within your heart, knowing that God is bigger than this. Amen. So we bless God for the word of God and we bless God for each and every one of you joining us on tonight. And as I said earlier, um, we trust and believe and we're going to continue to trust. And we're going to continue to believe because uh, when it all said and done, like Joshua said for me in my house, we're going to we're going to praise the Lord. and We're going to we're going to believe the report of the Lord. We're going to. Believe God's word for God's people. Amen. So we, we bless the Lord and thank God for all of you all logging on tonight. Um, God bless you all. Amen. Sister Barbara, Sister Deborah. Um, we thank God for each and every one of you. And as I said earlier, as we go forth and not only go forth, but as we. <clears throat> as our apostle would always tell us, teach what you've been taught. As Apostle Holcomb would always say, teach what you've been taught. Amen. Not teach exactly what I'm teaching you to teach, but there has to be a season and a timing to do what God has called us to do 
in this season, amen, because we got to give the people what God has called us to give to the people of God, and we give that through the teaching of the Holy Spirit, amen, through the teaching of the Holy Spirit, so we bless God on tonight, and we thank God for his grace, and we thank God for his mercy for all of you all logging on tonight, and um, truly it is a, uh, in a, indeed and privilege to um, break the bread, not only break the bread, but Thank God for all of you all logging on, and we just thank God for his grace and his mercy. Amen. So as we um, go forth in the word of God on tonight, um, continue um, in uh, First Lady in our absence on tonight, still doing grandma duty, but you know what? All is well. You know, we thank God um, that we can do that from time to time. Amen. But nevertheless, hey, the show must go on, not only the show, but we thank God for his grace and we thank God for his mercy. Most of all, we thank God for the word of God. Amen. I, I'm, I don't know about you. That's enough. I can praise him. You know, that's enough. I can, I can praise him on that. You know what I'm saying? We don't, like I said earlier, we don't have to wait until December the 25th said, you know, we want to give somebody a gift. The greatest gift that God gave to the world was John 3, 16. So for the God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe, whosoever believe in him, not them, but him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. And our everlasting life is not like ever ready, everlasting battery. But this is where sometimes when we're running low, we're running a little low on fuel, we're running a little low. But this is where the word of God, this is this is what keeps us going. It's the word of God, men and women of God. It's the word that keeps us going. Amen. So we thank God for that as we go forth. And I want to go ahead and just dive right in. Not only just dive right in, but before I get into the word of God, I like I said, I bless God for all of you all on tonight. God bless you all for joining us um, for mid, with me, uh, midweek, as we call it, not just Bible study, but we call it midweek empowerment service. Amen. And how do we get empowered? God bless you, Pastor Wayne. God bless you, Sister Gwen. And this is how we get empowered by the word of God. Amen. It's the word that keeps us going. It's the word that keeps us doing what God has called us to do. It's the word when you're feeling weak, when you're feeling down, when you're feeling like you just can't go the extra mile. I need not a word. I need the word in the word. In the beginning, it said was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. Amen. So in the word of God on tonight, as we go forth and as we want to share just with you for the next few minutes, the word of God. And I'm telling you, oh, my God, this word has blessed me. And, you know, when the Lord was sharing this with me, I was like, wow, it, it was something that just quickened my spirit. And I, I, I truly believe and I bless the Lord that it will be a blessing to each and every one of you on tonight. I'm telling you, um, I want to talk to you. And we bless the Lord for all of you all on tonight. There's a few scriptures that I want to cover for the sake of time. And we thank God for his word because God's word is real, people. God word is real. Amen. I don't care what they say or he say, she say, God word is real. Amen. Is when you pray in God's word, you begin to see the result. Amen. We got to pray not only our prayer, but we got to pray the word of God. Amen. But on tonight, I just want to talk to you for the next few moments. Um Turn with me to the book of Joshua, Old Testament, amen? The book of Joshua, Joshua chapter 1, I want to read verses 8, 9, and 10. Joshua chapter 1. <clears throat> verses 8, 9, and 10, amen? Amen. Joshua was the one, was Moses, here it is, Joshua sat under Moses, amen, he was Moses' successor, Moses 
in the book of Exodus, you see Moses brought the people out of Exodus. Let me say that again now. Moses brought the people out. Okay, Moses, hey, deliver. <laughs> Moses brought them out, but Joshua took them in. Amen. So in tonight, we want to talk in the book of Joshua, the book of Joshua, there's some other scriptures that we want to cover. Amen. The book of Joshua, beginning with verse number eight. And this is the word of the Lord speaking to Joshua. Amen. Um, Joshua, um, this is the son of Nun, but Joshua chapter one, verse eight, it said, the book of the Lord shall not depart out of thy mouth. See this, look, that's, 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 a, that's enough, not only to shout on, that's enough to just meditate on right there. It says the first part of this, it said, the book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. We can let other stuff and other things depart out of our mouth. My, 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 glory, hallelujah. I thank God for Jesus. But don't let the word of God, my God, you got to keep it within your heart. Amen. You got to keep it within your spirit. It said, the book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. But he tells Joshua, as you go forth, thou shall meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shall make thy way prosperous, and thou shall have good success. Amen? Not great success, not just success, but good success success come from when we are following, when we are listening, when we are obedient to God and his word. Good success. Amen. Then verse nine and 10. Then he said, have not, I command thee, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. Then Joshua command the officers of the people and saying, look at verse 11, pass through the host and command the people saying, prepare you vitals, vitals, for within three days ye shall pass over this Jordan to go in to possess the land which the Lord your God giveth you to possess it. Oh my God. I just want to talk to you just for a few moments, and I, I'm, I'm thankful and I'm grateful for the word of God, for the people of God, and we give God praise and we give God all the glory because without God, men and women of God, we just bless the Lord. And just to let you know, we are still always praying for each and every one on tonight. Amen. Not only just tonight, but each and every time I meditate on God's word each and every time I think about God's word. I think about his people. I pray for his people. And that's what we are to do. For We're, we're here to pray for one another. Amen. I want to I want to talk to you just for a few moments on tonight. Amen. The title would be meditating and navigating through the pandemic COVID-19. This is the this is the last month. This is the last one. What, what, what are you saying? I am not saying this is over. I am not saying that we're through with this. What I am saying on tonight, what I am saying, the word of God, what I am speaking as I, what, what God was sharing with me to share with the viewers, oh my God. He said to tell my people, this is the title of this is meditating and navigating through the pandemic COVID-19. Amen. Amen. Because I know sometimes and as we look back and we think about it and not only as we think about it, but I, I, I can I can assure you and I can tell you, I'm going to be honest with you. And I know a lot of time we've already set our hearts. We've already set our mind for for 2021 um, high expectation. Um, but the thing about it, who, who are we? We don't know what they expect. We don't know what they expect. But while we're still in this together. While we're still going through this, while we're still 
Watch this. God told Joshua to meditate on the word of God. Don't meditate on COVID-19 or the pandemic. Meditate on the word of God. That's how we get through it. Meditating and navigating through the pandemic. You notice I said through, because we're going through it. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, my heart and I'm praying. And yes, we know that some people um, died from this. Some people are sick. Some people are, and, and a lot of people, you know, um, I just don't want to say the count. But one thing I can say. Whether, 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 whether you're experienced in it, however, whatever, God is still God. God changed not. God is still God. So what I am saying is that here it is. While you are making it through it, while you are coming through it, this is where you can help others because watch this, you got to have that word of God. And that's why Joshua say, hey, you know, my servant Moses is going now, but here it is. I need you to carry these people in. Moses brought them out, but I need you to bring them in, Joshua. Oh my God, glory, hallelujah. So we're talking about, we're talking about tonight, meditating and navigating through the pandemic, COVID-19. Well, you know, the thing about it, yeah, we could have said, well, this thing started back in March, but who's to say this thing that started back in November, of December of last year? But when it started, how I many you know, everything that started, Watch this. As a beginning has an ending. Everything. Amen. Everything that has a beginning has an ending. And I'm telling you, this is where he tells Joshua to meditate. When you think about the word, when you think about the word, thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory. Hallelujah. All right. This is midweek empowerment service. Amen. This is midweek empowerment. Amen. And, and the thing about it is that this is where we stay in, we fit in, we get in, we stay in, we get in, we fit in, we stay in, we get in, we fit in, but we stay plugged in. Oh my God. We stay plugged in. Amen. We stay plugged in where? To the word of God. Watch this, that not only feeding my spirit, but also feeding my soul. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. My God. Thank you, Jesus. God is good all the time and all the time he is good. So here it is. When you think about the word meditate, when you think about the word meditate, amen. When you think about that word meditate, it's, it means we're thinking deeply, thinking deeply or focus on one's mind for a period of time. You know how when you meditate on something, you know what I'm saying? You know how when you, when, when you, when you meditate and, and, and you ponder and, 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 and you begin to just keep your mind on something. Oh, glory, hallelujah, on mind on something till you say, you know what, I got to meditate on it. I'm going to stay focused on this until I get this done. And this is the same thing with God's word. He told Joshua in 1 and 8, he told him specifically in Joshua 1 and 8, God spoke to Joshua with this, watch this, Moses' servant, Moses' successor, Moses' right-hand man. <laughs> I mean, he was everything to, to Moses. He didn't try to go ahead of Moses. He stayed behind Moses until it was his time to shine. Hey, my God, glory, hallelujah. My God, good afternoon. I'm telling you, we thank God for his grace. We thank God for his mercy. In verse eight, he said, the book of the law shall not Depart, depart. See, many times we depart from the book. Oh my God. Oh my God. Many times we depart from the book. But then the, the thing about it is that here it is, we should never depart from the word of God. We should never depart from the book. We should always meditate on God's words. He said, how, how many times should we meditate on it? How many times should we ponder on it? How many times should we think about it? The Bible tells us strictly in Joshua 1 and 8. God said meditate on it day and night. Amen? Day and night. Day and night. So here it is. When you think about meditate, it means to stay focused. Continue to ponder whatever that vision, whatever that dream, 
regardless of COVID-19, we're talking about meditating and navigating through the pandemic, COVID-19. We in it, but we're coming out with the word of God. Oh my God, this is where we got to continue to believe God. We're coming out. Amen. I, 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 in glory, hallelujah. I, I know, let me say this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. Let me just say this. Thank you. And I know beyond a, a pandemic or beyond COVID-19, things happen. Uh, you know, um, this as well as we born in this world, we leave and we never want to see no one go. But, uh, and the thing about it, we rejoice when a baby's being born into this world. But we cry when somebody is leaving this world. Oh, my God. But what I am saying is this. We cry when someone is leaving because we're hurt because of that we, the loss of that. We feel that that space is being empty. We feel that there is a void there. We feel that we, we're missing something. But I'm telling you, this is where in spite of it all, even when my father, my mother went home, I, I, I had to grab hold. I had to continue to hold on, not to, not to brother, not to sister, not to my wife, not to my family member. I had to hold on and meditate on the word of God. This is how we're going to navigate through this pandemic, by holding on, by trusting and believing in the word of God. Believe God's word. I'm telling you, you can't go around. Amen? This is how we're going to navigate through it. It's with the word of God. Amen? It's with the word. It's God's word. Amen? And that's why when you think about it, with oh, my God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And like I said, we rejoice. I mean, <clears throat> we're happy. When, 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 when a baby's being born, that life is coming into the world. They don't know what they're entering into, but glory, hallelujah, but God knows, amen? God knows the beginning and he knows the ending. And that's why he said, I am Alpha and I am Omega. So, so what I am saying is, yes, we, we, how can I say it? Thank you, Holy Spirit. We don't get over it, the losing of a loved one. We don't get over it. But we learn how to get through it by dealing with it with the word of God. We learn how to, meaning that lean on Jesus. He will never let you fall. He'll, he'll pick you up every time. When you lean on other people, sometimes they get tired of you leaning on them. Oh, my God. But if you lean on Jesus, glory, hallelujah, he will pick you up each and every time. Oh, my God. Glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, God is good. Uh, I'm telling you, God is good all the time. All the time, he is good. So here it is. A few other scriptures that I want to cover. We're coming from Joshua chapter 1, verses 8 through 10. But where he tell them to meditate. And when we think about the word meditate, to ponder, to just stay focused. Um, don't, you know, it's, it's like... God is saying, don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Don't worry about the news. Don't worry about what they're saying. Just meditate on my word and I'm going to get you through it. I'm telling you, glory, hallelujah. So here it is. When you think about it, thank you, Holy Spirit. Let me just <clears throat> slow down just for a moment. When you think about it, God's navigation system does not need to be updated. God's navigation system does not need to be updated often as one in that's in a car, nor does it need to get a single to get it to work. Amen? Because the word work, if you work it, the word will work for you. Amen? It's the word that keeps us going. It's God's word. Amen? So when we think about it, here it is, meditating and navigating through the pandemic of COVID-19. I'm telling you, this has been a tough year, as uh, some would call it. They never seen nothing like it before. They never experienced nothing like it. But I'm telling you, this is where we got to continue to realize and recognize and keep. Thank you, Holy Spirit. John 12 and 32. 
The Bible says in John 12 and 32, these are the words of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus speaks and he said, if I be lifted up from the earth, then he said, I will draw what? Not some, but he said, I will draw all men unto me. Amen. Because what am I saying? The more we lift up the name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit does the drawing. And, and the Bible also said, no one comes to God unless no one, I don't care who it is. No one comes to God unless the Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit anointing that draws that individual to come to God. God, and I, and I love what um, Apostle Paul said, um, he, him and Apollos, he said, one water, one planet, but how many of you know, you don't give the increase. God give the increase, amen? Paul said, I planted Apollo water, but he said, regardless, God just used the two of us but when it all said and done, God give the increase. Because when God give the increase, oh my God, glory, hallelujah. It's a beautiful thing. It's a wonderful thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. My God. God is good all the time and all the time he is good. Amen. So here it is. When you think about it, we are to meditate on the word of God. Meditate on the word of God day and night, not the news 24-7, amen? Not the news 24-7, because when you when you begin to, um, how can I say, when you begin to meditate, when you begin to ponder on the news, when you begin to bring all that into your spirit, man, it begins to make you weaken, it begins to make you feel down, out, deluge. Oh my, it, I'm, I'm telling you, the news, I, by no means, I'm not saying don't watch the news, but you got to know how much that your spirit can take in and how much that your spirit cannot take. And that's why this is where we got to meditate on the word of God day and night to navigate ourselves through the pandemic. Because when it all said and done, First lady said this a couple of weeks ago, as we're coming out, we're going to be able to help other people because they're going to be other people, not just be scared, but uh, fearful, but going, always dealing with all kind of issues, all kind of different things. And here it is a lot of time they think they need to go to a therapist. Mm, my God. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Oh, my God. Thank you. Sometimes we think we need to go there. But the best medicine that we can get is the word of God, the Holy Bible. Oh, my God. Ah, this is this is your prescription. Amen. This is your prescription. Oh, my God. You got to go ahead and open up the scriptures. Amen. There's healing in. Oh, my God. There's healing in the word of God for each and every one of us. There's healing. I'm telling you this. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. This is where we got to learn how to meditate on the word of God day and night. Not when some, oh, yes, Lord, I hear you. Not when I'm beginning to experience something. Not when I'm dealing with something. Not when I have a issue like the woman with the issue of blood. Glory, hallelujah. She said, if I could just, regardless of the crowd, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, and I don't know where the hem was. You know, you got him up up here, down here, wherever, wherever she said, if I could just touch, then I will be made whole. Glory, hallelujah. So sometimes we just need to meditate on the word of God to help us navigate our way through the pandemic and through COVID-19 in this season, because everything has a beginning and everything has an ending. But glory, hallelujah, as you come out, you got to be strong enough. You got to be firm enough. You got to be know that you know you, you know, you know, you know, you know who you are so you can help others. You know who you are so you can help others. Amen. That, oh, glory. There are some people depending on you. There are some people, people leaning on you. There are some people, oh, glory, hallelujah. I'm, I, they, they pull from you. you. They get their strength from you. Amen. Oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. So we're talking about tonight. <laughs> oh, my God. I get excited. 
in the word of God for the word of God, because it's the word that helps me, that navigate me through life's ups and down. Whether it's turn around, it don't matter. But when it all said and done, when it talks about the grass fade, it withers, but the word of God, I don't care what. Ah, oh my God. I don't, the word stays the same. He's the same God. Glory, hallelujah. Today, yesterday, and forevermore. God changes not, my sisters and my brothers. God changes not. He, God don't change. God is still the same. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. My God, as we get back to this word now, hallelujah. So we're talking about <clears throat> meditating and navigating through the pandemic COVID-19. Because we can listen to this person, we can listen to the news, and I'm not saying don't listen to the news. Information is good. Glory, hallelujah. Yes, information is good, but I need inspiration. I need inspiration. Information, yeah, going to tell me this and tell me that, but I need inspiration, which is, watch this, I, 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 I need to, come on now, I, I, need, I need to, my spirit need to be encouraged and lift up. It's the word of God that we are to meditate on a day and night. Yes, glory, hallelujah. The news is there to help us, to tell us different things, but I'm telling you, you have to know for yourself how much your spirit man can take and how much your spirit man cannot take. Amen. Each his own. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. So when you think about, thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank God for Jesus. We thank God for Jesus. Amen. Aren't you glad? Glory. Aren't you glad you got Jesus? A hey, glory. Oh my God. Glad I got Jesus on my side. I'm telling you, glad I got Jesus on my side. Not only he's on my side, but he's before me. Glory, hallelujah. Oh my God. The cross before me and the world behind me. Glory, hallelujah. I'm telling you. And this is where we got to continue. Regardless, we got to know what God's words say. Amen. And we thank God for his son. We thank God most of all for glory, hallelujah, for he allowing us that we can still tell others about the good news. Amen. So when you think about, <clears throat> not only you think about it, but you ponder on it. Not only you ponder on it, you pray on it. Not only you pray on it, glory, hallelujah. When you ponder, when you focus on it, oh, glory, hallelujah. You just, sometimes you just want to, oh my God, bash in his glory. Sometimes, you know, in, in, in prayer time, glory, hallelujah. You just want to just, oh my God, meditate. Whether it's a song, whether it's just you and God, sometimes it, it's, it's the glory. Oh my God, it's the glory cloud. Hallelujah. I don't want to get ahead of myself. But there's two other scriptures I want to cover on tonight. Glory, hallelujah. My God, my God, glory, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. God is good, y'all. I'm telling you, God is good. And I, I know each and every one of y'all on this live tonight, even as it's being shared, you know without a shout or doubt within your spirit, you can tell somebody how good God has been to you. In spite of difficulties, in spite of death, in spite of pain, in spite of what you're going to, you can share with somebody and tell them how good God not has, but still is to you. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, you can, I'm telling you, and this is where we got to continue to just tell the world that Jesus lived and he lived where? Deep down in my soul. Amen. As they see you they will see the light. Amen. So when you think about it, thank you, Holy Spirit, as we get back to this. Amen. We never left it, but we're still here. Amen. We're going to navigate ourselves right on back to the word of God. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. See, when we read the word of God, the word of God, thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory. Hallelujah. When we read the word of God, the word of God, when you think about it, is the logos, the written word. But when I'm speaking beyond what God has already said in his word, he's given me, watch this, the rhema to speak 
Oh my God, say what God say. When we say what God say, we'll see what God see and we can have what God say we can have. Oh my God, I think I'm gonna give myself a hand clap on that. <laughs> Hallelujah, God is good, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm thankful and ain't just tonight, ain't just when I get on live, I'm telling you 24 seven, it's just like Jeremiah. It's just like, I'm telling you, it's like shut up in my bone. Glory, hallelujah. It's like fire, the word of God. That's what the word of God does, amen? Hallelujah. So when we think about the word navigate, because we're talking about meditating, God wants us to meditate, amen? Day and night on his word, amen? Don't quit. Don't, don't give up. Don't give in. God didn't give up on you, amen? Don't throw the towel in. Oh my God, oh my God. As we talk from Sunday, moving forward and not looking back. And this way God wants us to keep going as we're meditating and navigating through the pandemic COVID-19. When you think about the word navigate, it's a plan and a route, and I'm sorry, is a plan and a direct route or course that you take, amen? So for instance, and, and, and a good example, <clears throat> when you think about the navigation, uh, we know we know about the navigation in the vehicle, um, they eat so many years or whatever, some ha they have to be updated, but like I said earlier, <laughs> God navigate, I'm telling you, the roadmap, the Holy Bible, it don't need to be updated. I'm telling you, it's always fresh. It's always new. It's always giving us a different revelation of the scriptures each time we read the word of God. Amen. <laughs> I'm telling you. So when you think about it, for instance, navigate. An airplane navigate by instrument. The Holy Bible is our roadmap to get us through and around in life. Amen. The air, airplane have the instrument that they navigate when they're in the air flying from different places. Amen. But I'm telling you, when you're going from town to town, when you're going from city to city, or when you're going from your job or even back home, or when you're walking from, you know, whether you're walking from the front door to the back door, it's, I'm telling you, you got to meditate. You got to think. You got to ponder. You got to stay focused on the word of God in times like these and times like these in time beyond these, we still have to meditate on the word of God. Like he told Joshua day and night. And then he said, then thou shall make what God was saying. If you meditate, Oh yes, Lord, I hear you. Thank you. Holy spirit. Thank you. Holy spirit. Just what God was saying to tell Joshua. If you meditate on my word, day and night man is not gonna oh my god man is not gonna make you successful not a man not a woman is gonna make you successful he said but if you meditate on my word day and night it's oh my god it's god's word that allow us to have great success it's the word of god it's god's word People look at you and say, well, how you did this? How you doing this? How you get this? How you do? God did it. And how did God did it? By me meditating on and through, watch this, it's the word of God. And, and we know it's the Holy Spirit because Jesus said, I'm going back to the Father, but I will not leave you comfortless. I'm going to leave you a comforter, which is the Holy Spirit to teach you, to guide you. Oh my God. That's the greatest navigation right there. The Holy Spirit. Oh my God. That's the, that's the greatest navigation that we can have to allow us to tell us, uh-uh, turn right here. Uh-uh, don't go right there. Uh-uh, don't do this. Oh my God. But are we not only, are we listening, but are we taking heed and listening with the spirit man what, and hearing what the Holy Spirit is saying to the church? Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Last but not least, oh my God, two other scriptures I want to cover. Oh, bless the Lord for everyone on tonight. I'm telling you, God is good. His word is real. His word is alive. I don't care what nobody say. I'm telling you, 
It's the word of God that quicken our spirit. It's the word of God that keeps us on the right track for Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. <clears throat> so here it is. This is where we, you and I, all of us, amen, me too, I'm, you, you, I'm preaching to the choir, amen? And this is where we got to let the word of God lead us, amen? Turn with me to, to the book of Exodus. Turn over to Exodus, amen? Let's look at the book of Exodus for a minute. Exodus chapter 13. Look at Exodus chapter 13, verses... 21 and 22. Amen. All is well. Amen. Exodus. We know Exodus mean the book of Exodus mean exit. When the children of Israel was coming out and I'm telling you, this is where we're coming out. Oh my God. Oh my God. Glory. Hallelujah. Yes, we can. We think about things that we experience, things that happen. Imagine you know, things that happened from the time from when January, February, March, up until now. And now we're in the month of December, celebrating our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the birth. And I'm telling you, God wants us to finish strong in his word. Amen. Hallelujah. Exodus, the book of Exodus, chapter 13. Amen. Exodus chapter 13. This is where God leads the people out. Amen. And this is where God is going to lead us out. Amen. He, uh, okay, yeah, 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 I hear you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, he can use somebody. He always use somebody. Amen. And God is, God is always wanting to use somebody. Amen. Amen. God always wants, but this is where we got to humble ourselves, humble ourselves so we can be used by God. Amen. Amen. Because if we don't humble ourselves, then here it is. We, God can't use us, amen? The Bible says, he who humble himself. So this is where, when you look at the book of Exodus, Exodus chapter 13, verse. look at verse 21 and 22. This is where God leads the people out. Even, oh my God, yes, Lord, I hear you. Even though you might got in some things, got stuck in some things, done some things, and, and, and you're... Um, you're repenting for it. You're asking God for forgiveness. But please, man, please, sir, hear me out. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Don't beat yourself up. Don't beat yourself up. You don't beat yourself up because the Bible said all have sinned and come short of the glory. All mean all. You don't beat yourself up and you don't let nobody else beat you up. Amen. But I'm here to tell you, as we look at Exodus the book of Exodus, chapter 13, verse 21 and 22, he said, And the Lord went before them by, okay, and the Lord went, and the Lord went. Glory, hallelujah. He didn't call or he didn't send, no, the Lord went before them by day, a pillar of cloud. A pillar of cloud by day to lead them the way and by night it was the Lord in the day it was the Lord in the night and then he said to lead them the way and by night a pillar of fire cloud by day fire by night God oh my God I'm telling you God will give you the direction God will allow I'm telling you, God will navigate you through what you're going through. Then he said, a pillar of fire to give them light and to go by day and night. And verse 22 said, he took not away the pillar of cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people, because God was before them. They wasn't before God. They he, I'm telling you, God was, watch this, if God be for you, yes, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, yes. Listen at this. Now, if God, if you allow God 
Yes, Lord. Oh, my God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, my God. If, and that's why, oh, my God, if you allow God to be before you, you know, you ain't got to worry about what's behind you. It's just like Lot wife. Here it is. God was before them, leading them, bringing them out, navigating them out. But she looked back and, God, oh my God. And God, if God before you, mean that God is in front of you, not behind you, not on the side of you. Glory, hallelujah. He's before you, mean that. He's ahead of you. Oh, what are you saying? What are you saying, preacher? What are you saying, pastor? Oh, yes. I'm glad you asked. I just heard this in the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You don't think God is ahead of this pandemic? You don't think God is ahead of COVID-19? You don't think God, oh, my God. He, oh, oh, God, this is where we trust God in spite of. This is where we trust God in spite of what's, oh, uh, glory, thank you, Jesus. I felt that. I'm telling you. Oh, my God. Glory, hallelujah. This is, It doesn't matter. Well, yeah, yeah, you can say that. No, 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 no. I am, I'm telling you, this is where we stick and stay with the word of God. Because the word, if, if, thank you. Yes, Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way. So here it is. Even as you look in the Old Testament, okay? 66 book, 39 and 27, old and new. 66 book. I'm not, 66 book. I'm not talking about the other, no, no, no. 39 and 27, the old, the new, the old and the new. Amen? So what I'm, what I am saying is that here it is. You can go in the old. You can trace it from the old to the new. The old is the foundation. The foundation, which is the old, is the foundation. Oh my God, that's where you. Oh yes, Lord, I. The old is the foundation. The new give you revelation. Oh, my God. The old is the foundation, but the new give you even open up your understanding even more, give you more revelation of who God is in your life. The old is the root, but the new is the fruit. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. My God. God is good. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, oh, my God, oh, my God, hallelujah, oh, my God, let me try to finish this up, y'all, hallelujah, oh, my God, oh, my God, I can hear First Lady say, oh, yeah, he acting up tonight, no, 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 that's just the Holy Spirit, amen, but trust and believe, like I said, not only she's doing grandma duty, but she'll be back with us on Sunday, oh, glory, I'm telling you, I'm excited for you all, and I'm excited for the people of God, our friend, our neighbor. I'm even excited. God is going a new thing, even in your enemy life. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. My God, I'm telling you, who wouldn't want to serve a God like that? Oh, my God. Glory. If Oh, my God. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Let me try to let me try to get finish. Get through this. Amen. Last but not least, let me let me try to get through this. I, I'm just I'm just think about uh, oh my God, when I when I think about mm, all that he's done for me, my soul cried out, hallelujah. I got joy, joy, joy down in my spirit. Oh, my God. Hallelujah, my God. You know, see, if, if the only time you can praise God, only time you can smile, only time you can look up is when everything is going good and when you got a little money in your pocket or when you got... A, a job, that's the only time you can praise God. That's the only time that you can thank God. Oh, my God, you got it round. You got it round. Oh, my God. You got you. And look, and, and, and I tell my coworkers this all the time. We talk about this. Some of my, my sales, you know, uh, the people on my job. And I tell them, I said, look, man, 
I said, look, you, when you ain't selling, you got to be thankful to God. He's still going to navigate when you ain't, I'm, I'm telling you, I said, when you, when you ain't selling a car, when you ain't got nothing going on, you still got to thank God because you got to thank him for the good and you got to thank him for the bad. You got to thank him, watch this, watch this from the beginning to the ending. But most of all, I'm going to praise him while I'm in between. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to praise him while I'm in between. Not only the beginning and the ending, I'm going to praise him while I'm in between. What am I saying? I, I just can't praise him when everything is all right, when everything is going okay. I'm, I'm telling you, you, you got the, I'm telling you, when ain't nothing going on, it doesn't matter. You just can't praise him when everything is okay. Hallelujah. Praise him when everything ain't okay. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. Glory. Hallelujah. Last but not least. Ah, my glory. Hallelujah. As our apostle would say, I think I feel my Afro growing. Hallelujah. <laughs> And I ain't got no hell on my head. Glory, hallelujah. That's the anointing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. Last but not least, let me, let me finish this up. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And this is where when, when God leads you out, you will get out and stay out. Amen. Amen. Let's look at Psalm 23. We're going we're gonna to try to park right there on Psalm 23. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good, y'all. I'm, I'm thinking, oh, my God, God is good. Psalm 23, I want to read that, and we'll try to park right there, Psalm 23. Let us go to the book of Psalm 23. Amen. <clears throat> but before we go to Psalm 23, let me say this. The Bible also tells us, you know, as we... He's showing us how, mm, yes, Lord, just to meditate and navigate our way through this pandemic. Yes, I know it's been hard. And it's still hard. I, I know we got to be careful and wear the mask, the social distance, and the CDC. Yes, we know all that. Glory, hallelujah. We praying for them, praying for the EMS workers. We praying for even our children as they're in the school. It does, we praying for everybody. I know we got to be careful. Yes. But in the meantime, somebody got to be praying for somebody. Amen. As we meditate and navigate our way through the pandemic, COVID-19. But last but not least, before I go to Psalm 20, the 23rd division of Psalm, the Bible also tells us in Luke, Luke chapter 18, verse 1, the latter part of that verse, is said, he said that uh, men ought to always pray and not faint. Always pray and not faint. Amen? Always, always pray and not faint. Psalm 23, we hear this a lot. Amen? Psalm 23, the book of Psalms. This is where we're talking about meditating and navigating through the pandemic, COVID-19. Amen. And this is what, here it is. Look, our navigation been working all along. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 23. It said, Psalm 23, it said, the Lord is. It said, the Lord is, not was. The Lord is my shepherd. Not, the, not, not, oh my God. The Lord is my shepherd. And he said, I shall not want. Then he said, he maketh me to do what? To lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Amen. Then he goes on and said, after God does all that, he's going to, oh my God, I just, he's going to restore the things that the canker worm, the palmer worm, oh my God, he's going to restore some things. He restores, first of all, before he restores some things, he's going to restore my soul. So he, he restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for what? His name's sake, not mine. God's name is on the line. Amen. God is going to, God is, the roadmap, the Holy Bible, he given us to help us navigate our way through this thing. Glory, hallelujah. It ain't no new thing. We've already had 
the 66 book. Oh my God, we've already had the Bible. Whether you have the written one right in your hand, you can look at it on the computer. You can look at it on your phone. It doesn't matter. You can pull it up anytime, anywhere. Restoration is here and he's going to give all of us, he's going to give us rest. Amen. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. And I love what verse 4 say. After he does all that, yea, though I walk, I walk. God has some of us walking through this pandemic. God has some of us meditating, going through it. Oh, my God. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow death, I will fear no evil. I will fear no evil. He said, for thou art with me, thy rod and my staff may comfort me. And he said, even as I'm going to, he said, thou preparest a table, oh my God, for me in the presence of what? Your enemy. They're going to figure out how how you came to, how, not only how you came to, how you navigating your way to, how you doing this. I, oh my, while they're trying to figure out, God already got it worked out. Oh my God. They're trying to figure out, God already got it working out. You still standing. Amen. Hallelujah. God already got it worked out. He said, the enemies and thou anointest my head with all. My cup runneth over. When your cup run over, you share the good news. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for Jesus. Oh, Jesus, how sweet it is to be loved by you. Hallelujah. My cup runneth over. And then he said, surely, surely, meaning that I can reassure you that while you went through all what you went through, all what you dealt with, all what you experience in life he said surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life and he said my life i will dwell where in the house of the lord amen hallelujah oh my god glory hallelujah i pray to god and i thank god for his grace i thank god for his mercy i thank god for the people of god and even as this Live has been aired, and even as it's being shared, as you share it, to be a blessing to someone else. I, and I'm thanking God that, you know, somewhere, somehow, someone that don't know Jesus, oh my God, something that's being said, something that I read even on tonight, even from the scriptures, I pray that it bless somebody, that it will bless somebody, even as someone go back and look at this later. I pray that the Holy Spirit will bless you like never before. Because if it bless me, I know it's going to bless you. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we give God all the praise and all the glory. And I thank God for his grace and his mercy. I'm going to just park it right there. I'm telling you, God is good all the time and all the time he is good. I'm telling you, out of time, but we're never, I'm never out of messages. And I'm telling you, I thank God. How many of you thank God for the Holy Spirit? Amen. How many thank God for the Holy Spirit? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm raising both of my hands. I thank God. Hey, arrest me, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. I thank God for his overflow blessing in your life. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. When it runs over, it runs over to this house. It runs over to that house. It runs over. I'm telling you, it keeps I'm telling you, glory. You won't have room enough to store it. I'm telling you, I thank God. So uh, as we say on tonight, as we meditate and navigating through the pandemic of COVID-19, God is good, people. All the time and all the time, he's good. And I'm thankful and I'm grateful for the word of God. And I'm, I'm thankful for the people of God. And I'm, th I'm just thankful that God placed me in the lives of others to help. Because I don't know it all. I don't know it all. I don't, I don't know where I'm going. But I know who I'm following. Jesus. Amen. And I'm telling you, when we follow the leading of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I thank God for Jesus. But I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit 
is the one who allow us to navigate our way through this thing. I'm telling you, and this is where we're going to continue to trust God through it all. Amen. So we bless the Lord and uh, we thank God once again for his grace and we thank God for his mercy. And as always, we love you all. And I tell you, it's, it's been a blessed time in the Lord and just sharing the word of God and um, this um, thanking God for his grace and thanking God for his mercy. And I, I'm, I'm just, you know, you, you always hear me say, I thank God. I thank God. I thank God. If I had 10,000 times, I couldn't thank him enough because all the things that he have done. And I, I'm just thankful and grateful for the people of God and for Kingdom Empowerment Ministry, faithful believers. Um, we might not be a lot, but might be fewer numbers. But I'm telling you, we thank God for the faithful, strong and I thank God also for my sisters, family members, cousin, um, even, you know, all of you all just being a part. It, it just encouraged me um, in the word of God to continue to uh, beyond go deeper as God give me to share with the viewers. And it is a blessing in knowing this, that we love you all. And I'm telling you, God has great things. So we're going to continue to get through this and we're going to get through this together. And we're going to continue to meditate and navigating through the pandemic, COVID-19. I'm telling you, God got us. And I'm telling you, as First Lady would say, she's not on tonight. But anyway, as she would say, um, social distance, wear your mask, be safe while you're out there. And I'm telling you, watch out for others. And um, because God, God love us and we love God. Amen. So we thank God for each and every one of y'all. And. I'm telling you, we, we bless the Lord and we give God all the praise, all the honor and all the glory. The Lord should tarry his coming. We'll see you back on Sunday at 10 a.m. for Sunday morning worship service. Amen. So stay safe and knowing this, that we're going to continue to medigate, meditate and navigate on the word of God through this pandemic. Amen. Because it's the word that's going to help us, it's the word that's going to keep us, it's the word that's going to get us through. Amen. So we bless God and we love you all. Stay safe and God bless you all. Amen.